Hey everyone, it's Deli here and welcome back to another part of playing Planet Zoo. Today, uh, well, since the last part, we did have uh, a few little issues with money. I think I made a big mistake by buying expensive animals and getting way too many animals at the start. And we may be like negative $29,000 because I might have taken a lot of um, a lot of loans. I took all the loans that I could, <laughs> pretty much, because I did one loan, which then meant I had to do another loan, which then meant I had to do another loan to pay off that loan. So we've borrowed 75 grand since the last part. Oh my gosh, we have some baby animals. Look at this. We have a uh, baby hyena. Really, really cool. It was very exciting to have had a baby. Hello, little one. So sweet. We also had a baby zebra. We're having some issues with the habitats being dirty, and I'm not really sure why. Well, if they're not happy about this staff area, like, what what else can I do? Do I just put more trees in to cover it up more? I'm just not really sure what the people want at this stage. So if we put some palm trees, do you think it'll make them a bit happier? You know, make it, make it a, a prettier space? You called my place a dump after I placed all these trees. Your mum is a dump. No, your mum is not a dump. Okay, animal is hungry. Where's my keepers? I've been, honestly, I've been paying these guys a lot of money and they're, they're not, they're not coming. Where is my keeper is what I'm, is what I'm wondering about. Oh, well, we've almost paid off our loans. Well, two of our loans. That's good. We paid off a loan, you guys. And then, yeah, cash flow isn't great. Um, finance is not amazing. The panda is also low welfare. Why are you low welfare? You have all the toys you could ever want. Habitat. Oh, that the animal's too hot. It looks like we need another cooler. Oh, well, that's an intro. <laughs> this is, um, mm -hmm. okay. I mean, the panda was okay not long ago. Don't know why all of a sudden it's unhappy. Okay, bizonies. Uh, enrichment. We don't have any enrichment for you guys in terms of toys. So let's see what we can get here. Oh no, it looks like we have no money, so we can't buy any enrichment even if we had it. Um, well, where are the negative coins? Why is the vet packing up? Excuse me, why did you? Oh, we have a dis Okay, this, okay, this is a diseased animal. I don't know why with conjunctivitis, poor thing. Why did you take away my animals? I don't understand. Okay, we have a diseased animal, that's fine. Oh my gosh, why are they all diseased? No, not my hyenas. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, you've got a life-threatening disease as well? What do they, why so many diseases? I do, oh God, it's everything's going terribly right now. Okay, loony balloons, I'm stressed. I'm so stressed. I'm gonna get more caretakers just cause I'm freaking out about what's happening right now. I don't want my animals to die. I really don't. You know, this is so unfair. We were doing so well last time we played this game in beta, we were making money, things were growing, everyone was happy. And now it's just like, now we get the real game. Everything's just struggle town. Everyone's diseased. Ev Everyone is diseased. Vets are being requested. Where is this vet? Excuse me. What is this? This sign's on fire. I feel like my animals are gonna die and I'm really worried about this. Oh my gosh, they're hungry, they're contagious, they're campylobacteriosis. Oh, this place is a hot mess, an absolute hot mess. This is, this is just going downhill and honestly, our total profit keeps going further and further down, I think. What is this? Infected with unknown. Oh God, should we just trade them? Should we just get rid of all the zebras? <laughs> I did have to fire some vendors just because I've been borrowing so much money lately. <laughs> it's a little bit of an issue. So you know what? It's not going as, oh my gosh. Sorry, that was really loud. Okay, even though everything's going terribly, this actually makes me really happy. How cool is that? You can totally see him through the glass kind of. Wow. So yeah, basically our zoo is failing, but we're getting more practice at running a zoo. So I feel like, oh, do not disturb sign. That's educational. Please don't disturb the crocodile. Uh, oh, 
Uh, this one is expecting offspring. Oh, Olivia. Oh my gosh, that's my sister. Wow, you're looking good today, Olivia. A uh, little bit concerned that there's no food in this enclosure either, especially when we have, you know, a pregnant one there. Maybe we can fire all of our staff, like everyone. I feel like that's what we should do. I feel like goodbye. We're gonna get rid of people who just aren't looking like they're doing a good job. You know what? I'm gonna get rid of you because I don't think we need all of you. Let's see. This should this should help save the zoo, I think. And once we pay off our second loan, it should. Look at this. See, it's going up. Oh wait. Eh? See? See? Eh? Uh. Oh no. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's slowly going up. We can do it. We can make it. Only $100 to go. $37 to go. Yay! We paid it off. Well, look, we don't have a whole lot of money left, so I'm thinking we may as well just run this place <laughs> into the ground. Oh, look at these tigers. Oh, oh, look at this panda. I don't know what to do. This is just being run into the ground. <laughs> Our marketing's not working. Oh my gosh, apparently we're about to have offspring. Olivia is about to have a bambino. Oh my gosh, I think we get to watch the pregnancy happen. Are you going to give birth? Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, there it is. Wow, look at it. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, that is adorable. I think our money's getting better. Or should we continue to fire people? See, our money goes up for a little bit and then it crashes down again. These staff are so happy. I mean, do we need them? Unless we start paying them a lot less. Oh, I think 150 is the lowest we can pay them. Oh no, the staff happiness <laughs> is not good. Guys, we just need to cut your money just for a little while, just until we pay off his next loan. Look, we're making profit now. <laughs> Guys, I've decided to do the unthinkable and that is to close down the zoo. I'm not really sure how else to say this, but I messed up big time and I don't think we're gonna recover. Our average money a year is 120, wait, does that mean our money's going up? Hey, our diseased zebra is expecting offspring. Can it be our zoo will be saved? Uh-oh, we gotta find. Is someone, oh no, not the hyenas. <laughs> Out of all of them, other than the, obviously the crocodile is <laughs> probably the worst. Oh no, we can't afford to fix this. <laughs> oh God, the whole zoo is breaking down. Why did the mechanic ever fix our walls? Where are our hyenas? Oh my gosh. This is now a life-threatening disease. Oh my gosh, this this place is falling apart. Oh, you're about to have more zebra babies. What? No, no, not our goal. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so sad. Uh, I can't look at it. Oh God, oh my God. Shen Yuan died of old age. Oh gosh, that's okay. He died of old age, so he had a good life here. Oh gosh, Olivia died. Uh oh. Oh no, this is really not great. I'm sorry, we can't afford the hyenas. I'm sorry, hyenas. You were so, you were so nice, but I'm gonna have to trade you for some quick cash. As long as you will be happy. Oh my God, and it's only the little kid left. Okay, they're in the trade center now. So what happens when you have a baby and put them in the trade center? Gold! We made a gold animal! Whoa! We can release them to the wild and get 78 of these? Whoa! Well, we did something, right? Wait, does this mean if we trade all of the little ones, we get lots of leaves? Hey, look, there's people coming! Oh, they're like, hell no, this place is too expensive. <laughs> That's why no one's coming in. Okay, fine, we'll make it a budget zoo. We're pretty much going back to the beginning. All right, folks, come on in. Yeah, that's right, you cheapers. Where are these vets? Where are the vets? 
I don't understand. Why is all, why is everything broken? And why is this zoo all of a sudden dead? There's literally, there's no one here. We have no guests anymore. I mean, what's wrong with it? This zoo looks amazing. <laughs> Look at all of these feeders. You get to see what it's like to be inside an enclosure. It's amazing. Guys, we've almost paid off our $50,000 loan. And people are once again entering the zoo. Everything's gonna be okay. The thing is, you never take out a loan. That's what I've learned. Never ever in Planet Zoo ever take out a loan. Cause then you'll end up taking all the loans and then before you know it, you've paid $80,000 on a $50,000 loan that got you nowhere. Well, I suppose this video was pretty much about what not to do in Planet Zoo. So if you guys wanna know how not to build a zoo, um, you're welcome. Please help me in the comments down below so the next zoo we build can be amazing and successful. I hope you guys are having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world, and I can't wait to speak to you soon. Dag dag.